Thank you for clicking on this video. If you enjoy what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to stay up to date with our latest content. And hey, don't forget, check out our Patreon where you can be part of the dream and enjoy this transaction. Yeah, man, can I, can I, can I start it off? Hey, can I, can be I, can my I... guest. You know, playing Call of Duty, I'm far more of a casual fan than Liquid is. Like, I've really started only playing Call of Duty since last year, since I took like a 10 year hiatus. So for me, I had Black Ops, which I really enjoyed, you know, uh, me and Liquid, I forced Liquid to carry me to come through the competitive <laughs> ranks and just, just, you know, show me the ropes and not like, so I have a fond memories with Call of Duty as of recently, more than I ever have. Even when I was younger, I was a jaded Halo kid and I was like, oh, COD kid, no way. That's so lame. And, uh, so so, like, any fondness I have for Call of Duty is recent. Uh, speaking to that, playing this, it just, for me, it felt so drab. I think drab is the word I've been wanting to use it, because it when I think about the game and I thought about what I was going to say, and I'm like, drab. It's just like, bleh. It's like beige. Yeah. Like, it just, like, it, there's no, there's no salsa. There's no spice. It's just very run of the mill, and it makes me upset because I see Laura Bailey, mm -hmm. like, and I'm like, oh man, Laura Bailey, what's good? And then I hear the story about like, uh, like, I don't know if I want to say it because it might be spoilers, like what the story like about, right? Can well, I just generalize? I think, like, well, I think you can still say it. I mean, everything's all trailers now, so it's not like it's not like the game's out, right? So you're hunt, you're hunting like, like Hitler's like predecessor, right? But, well, you know, so I'm like, oh, that sounds awesome. And, yeah, just playing the multiplayer and playing it on the Xbox was rough. The The graphics were glitching in and out. Uh, it was very pixelated. And you'd walk into certain rooms and then it would just flash. Mm. I think if you watch some of our gameplay, you'll see it happen when I walk into a room and it's just like, gah, gah. it's like someone threw a bunch of flashes in the, like, at the very beginning and i'm like what's happening <laughs> and then you know you keep it moving but it's just like uh sir right and uh yeah just uh, it's 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 pretty disappointing drab yeah. like that's really what i had to say i didn't have too much like i played it i liked it then i deleted it like my brother matt he played one game with like 40 and like 20 or something mm -hmm. and they're like cool and then instantly deleted it's like not for me yeah. and it seems like i can't find anybody who's juiced about this game okay i'm on twitter i'm trying to look at people like yeah it looks it's hype and people like the best you get like eh, it's all right right I'm like whoa yeah i, I think so that yeah I, that's pretty much what i think i agree i think the uh the reaction is very like you said like it's very bland it's very just like it's it's not getting the attention that call of duty would normally get right um and even then like people are usually upset about call of Duty, like oh i i can't stand it or they'll dislike the trailer you know but they'll still go ahead and buy it you know this one seems a little different though um like i know you were telling me and i've even seen some uh, images and videos of people playing uh particularly on xbox where it, like it's just they were having like it, it's almost it looks unplayable to me at least you know what i'm saying like i'm like you I would not want to play that at all. Luckily, I didn't have that many problems on PlayStation. I'd still agree with you, though. I think also, what did you say, drab? Was that the word you used? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd agree. It looks very dull. Uh, I think it plays even more dull. I don't like it. Uh, and I am a Call of Duty person. I do like Call of Duty. Now, granted, I tend to like the ones that are, I guess, the, the least liked Call of Duty. So take it with a grain of salt, if you will. You know what I'm saying? If you like Modern Warfare, you might feel a little more comfortable with this. Um, me, personally, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. Um... I think the game's all right. Uh, it's play, it takes place in World War II. I'm not really ready to go back to World War II. I could care less. Uh, besides, the last time we played a World War II, I didn't like that one neither. Uh, it just it, there was just a lot of it that I just could not stand. Did not like. I think we played for like one day. Um, you know, I, I played a little bit, and then I deleted it that same day. Like I just 
eh, I don't I don't have any plans to go back to it. I don't have any plans to buy it. I usually buy I think I've purchased every Call of Duty. I haven't missed not one Call of Duty and I kind of really want to miss this one. And the only closest one that I did miss was Infinite Warfare and it's something i missed it i didn't so much miss it i just got onto it super late that's really all it is like i forgot uh, who, okay. yeah i forgot who purchased it and then i ended up purchasing it right after they did so it was just one of those things uh i don't think i'm gonna make that mistake with this game though like this game has showed me everything i need to see and so far i'm just on the fence where i don't care for it i don't want it um i know they were talking about they're already in development for the next modern warfare I'd even be more willing to give that one more of a chance. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a big Modern Warfare fan, but I'd give it a chance still. Um, but yeah, that again, I'm right there with you, right where I'm at, uh, right where you're at here. I think the gun gameplay is it's fine. I don't think it's you know anything to really uh, brag about. You know, I think it's the same. Uh, and then yeah, the textures are very muddy, very dull. You know, but it is what it is. You know, it, it reminds me um, of a of like Halo Three Forges, where everything's kind of like brown and gray, <laughs> and so it, it, and it is the thing is, if it's World War Two, you want to be immersed in that world. You want you would almost yeah. want the guns to be a little janky, but when you get these ten attachments on one gun, it, it's just like and it's like the dumbest stuff, like tape on a gun, like what. Yeah. Like, come on, guy. Like, you're, you're doing too much. I get it. You ran out of attachments, but you want to do this pick 10 system? Am I using it correctly? Yeah, pick, pick 10. I guess, I guess people are fond of it. It's just, I feel like it does. The the principle of the pick 10 and the aesthetic of World War II just don't mesh. Mm. Sure. I, I can I can understand that. It, um, and now, yeah, it, it's like, there. it's World War II. I, I don't mind the pick 10 thing. Only because, yeah, it is like World War II, like guns and stuff like that. The attachments, though, are very look. A lot of them look very modern, which I'm okay with. I don't have a problem with any of that. But it's just a, just the whole environment, like even the, the way that the game was like playing. Like even when we get on a smaller map, it just still felt. I don't know. It felt a little too. The spawns felt like crap, you know. And and granted, I I I feel like that can always be fixed eventually. Usually. Call of Duty spawns are always terrible in the beginning, and then they eventually start, they start patching it up little by little, and then you start seeing them become, you know, they'll get better as the time goes by. But, yeah, other than that, that, that that's really all I have to say about that. Honestly, yeah, the spawns, it's just, guys, if you don't have to play it, don't, don't bother. Right. Go play Warzone. That's free. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? And you, well, and you played that recently. How did you feel when you played that? In comparison, yeah. boy, did it make Warzone shine. Oh, I like, bet. I, oh, I, was, I haven't deleted Warzone, and like maybe even after Infinite to fill the gap, I was like, I might bully you, and we might, we might have a couple nerd runs, throw some streams on of like, like you know, Liquid Broad Shoulders just carrying me on his back, and we're just <laughs> going through the Warzone together, see how Verdansk is, Ooh. and stuff like that. You know, yeah. Yeah. So. I, if anything, gaming perspective. Okay. I don't think that I don't think what a video game where people work hard on <laughs> want to hear that. <laughs> it's like, hey, your video game gave me perspective. You're like, ooh, yeah, that's not what you want to hear. No, not at all. All right. Well, yeah, I, definitely, I, yeah, definitely. If another Call of Duty comes out, like, let's just say next year's is this um, troubling. Right. I wonder if if it'll still get the 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 COVID pass. I want to say. Hmm. Uh, I think people will be a little more more harder on it, but uh, but yeah, you never know. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll have to see. Well, I'm, I'm, but I am interested yep. in seeing how this Call of Duty does. But like, I the only time you'd probably catch me purchasing this Call of Duty is for the campaign, for the story mode, and even then, it's just like I think it's got to go on sale first. I, I don't mind waiting on it, you know, until, until yeah. I feel like the price is right. See, honestly, I just feel like I'm gonna watch it on YouTube. Hey, that, that's a this great point. Sure. Yeah, I'm like Laura Bailey and other voice actors show me a wonder list like man I almost want to play this game and then I don't yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know what I mean? Right, right. No, I so, agree 
So yeah. yeah, we told you guys we'd let you know our thoughts, and that's pretty much it. It's uninspiring. Don't do it. Yeah, you don't have to. That, yeah. To, to wrap things up, uh, Chris said it perfectly. Like we, the only reason we were, we were even really talking about it because I didn't really care to talk about it is only because we said we were going to share our thoughts. So yeah, hundred percent.